Hello, everyone. How are things going? We're delighted to see you back. Thank you so much for all of your love and support over the years. It motivates us to create better and more useful videos. Please click the subscribe button and like the video before we begin. If there is anything that we would like to present to you in a way and find enough analogies and examples to help you really get it, something that would serve you better than all other things put together that you will ever hear from us or anyone else, it would be that your perspective is uniquely yours. And if you could give up your determination to explain yourself in enough different ways to get other people to see it the way you see it, Oh, life would begin being sweet for you right now. If you could just accept that everybody gets to create their version of reality and that you will waste your life in trying to get them to accept your version. Because the life that they've lived and the vibration that they're offering is the reason that they see it as they see it. And as you spend that natural time defining whether you want it or not you also without meaning to practice the vibrational frequency of the very things that you put in the bad piles and then because it's part of your vibration it prevents you from discovering the good piles because your vibrations all wrapped up in what's in the bad piles and then we love you so much you know what's coming next after that statement. <laughs> and then you look to something outside of you to make the difference. You look for someone else to fix it. It started with your mother or your father or someone up close to you. Please change this condition. There is a, re a condition in my reality that I see that I don't like. And when I look at that condition, I feel bad. And I don't want to feel bad. That's the first thing you knew about yourself. You don't like feeling bad. So when you're looking at a condition and you feel bad and you associate feeling bad with that condition, then of course it's logical. We get it. Why you want that condition to change. But you are not the boss of those conditions. You are not the creator of someone else's reality. You cannot control the conditions. You are the creator of your own reality. So in your physical for format, have you run across the concept or the notion of unconditional love? Been hearing it. A lot of people talk about it. Hardly anybody gets it. Most think that unconditional love means look at a condition that is horrible and love it. <laughs> so... You need a lot of practice at that. <laughs> but you can't look at unwanted and be a vibrational match to wanted. So you're never able to accomplish that. That's what makes you want to define things and explain things. But we want you to understand that what unconditional love is, we're going to make it easier for you, unconditional love, unconditional clarity, Unconditional appreciation, unconditional alignment, because love and appreciation and clarity and eagerness and all of those words that describe good feeling, they all mean alignment with source. And that's what love is. Alignment, pure alignment, non-resistance. So unconditional love or clarity is about being in love or clarity. We have enjoyed this interaction <laughs> immensely. But it was not, the words unconditional love are not just a goal for you to accomplish. It is also the process by which to accomplish it all in the sentence. Unconditional love means love. We've enjoyed this interaction immensely. <laughs> it means, it means, it means do you know what it means? Can you feel what it means? It means withdrawing your attention from the condition that prevents the love. Unconditional love means the conditions. There are conditions that you love and there are conditions that you don't love. But when you train yourself to sift and sort for the best conditions, you train yourself to be a conditional liver. 
You're looking at conditions. And if there are good conditions, you feel wonderful. And if there are not good conditions, you feel terrible. But then you have no control because your reality is full of conditions. Have you noticed? There are conditions everywhere. So unconditional love means you got to decide that first and foremost, you want to be in alignment. And if it requires withdrawing your attention from conditions that don't allow your alignment, then so be it. That's what unconditional love is. By knowing about the vortex, by knowing about vibration, by knowing about what joy is, and by caring about feeling good, and by using joy as the only criteria that causes you to want to focus upon anything. Joy is your criteria. How true it is, is irrelevant. How many others are experiencing it is irrelevant. What anybody else thinks about it is irrelevant. Is the thought a good feeling thought? So that you're lying in your bed and you're pondering something that you saw on television or something that you heard about or something that you read about or something that you experienced. And as you're pondering it, it's muting your feeling of joy. And you catch yourself with that muted feeling and you say, hey, hey, getting your own attention. Hey. I don't have to think about this right now and then just withdraw your attention from it until you feel the discomfort dissipate as you put your attention on anything anything that feels better than that that's that is the key wanting to feel good and knowing what feeling good means because it means everything it is so interesting that what everyone wants is to feel good and feeling good is alignment it, 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 it is alignment and that al alignments what everyone wants and feeling good is what everyone wants and they are the same thing it, it, the, it, the emotion is the key to everything and you have the ability to focus yourself into an emotion you have the ability to do that but first you have to accept that you're a vibrational being and that your emotions are about vibration and that the vibrations are about the relationship between you and you and the relationship between you and you is what joy is. And once you get all those pieces together, you've got it. So let's say there's someone who's been a thorn in your side. They have been so annoying and, and so you just stop thinking about them. You just stop thinking about them because every time you thought about them, it was uncomfortable. So you just stop thinking about them. You didn't try to fix the relationship. You didn't try to mend the relationship. You just stopped thinking about them. And you focused upon anything and everything that you could find that took you in the vortex. Anything and everything that you could find that took you in the vortex. Anything and everything that you could find that took you in the vortex. Until you just tuned yourself into the frequency of who you really are. And now you find yourself able to think about that person who used to just rip you out of the vortex. That used to just tear you up every time. And you don't feel any discomfort whatsoever because you've practiced a vibration that makes that opinion that you used to hold that you might have even had valid reasons for holding it it's irrelevant it's not matching up with you you're not rendezvousing with that anymore you have the ability to feel how you choose to feel about everything and most people don't know that most people are having knee-jerk reactions to things that's why they think they need to control other people hey when you do that, I feel this way and I don't like it. So you need to stop it. Well, that's, that's hard. There's a lot of trouble in that. But when you get it, that, that nobody has to stop anything, that you have the ability to put your mind under any and all conditions in a place that feels good. Now we'll give it to you. You got to practice. But if you will practice it every chance you get, you will discover that things that were at one time impossible for people that you couldn't even say their name without going into a rampage about how awful they are, you will find yourself just feeling nothing but love about them because there's so much to love about everyone. And now you're in the vibration of that. If you're going to think about them, law of attraction is going to insist that you rendezvous with a loving thought about them because you've trained your vibration into love. That's freedom. That's freedom to train your vibration there. To train your vibration there. To train your vibration there. Do it with easy, easy things first. Cats, dogs, children, babies. In other words, pick the easy stuff. Let them help you train your vibration. Train it into love. Train it into love. Train it into alignment. Train it into alignment. Train it into alignment. Train it into alignment. And before you know it, you will be one who lives unconditional love. And then you will be a true uplifter and healer. We're delighted to see you all the way through the video. 
If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and let us know in the comment section below. There is a lot of love for you here.